<clears throat> it's wonderful to be here again in Cincinnati. I was here about a month and a half ago or so. I was invited to research at the American Jewish Archives right up the road on Clifton, you know, by HUC, the Union College. I'm a, a writer, a historian, a ethnographer, a counselor, a teacher, a rabbi, but most importantly, I'm like, I'm like one of you, a regular person. Adafa Brengen, which means a gathering, a celebratory gathering, a festive gathering, a fun gathering. But fun in, the, in a Jewish way, not just fun partying and, 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 and fun with a meaning, with purpose. To do that takes time, takes patience takes participation from everyone here. So the, the rating of this Fabrenga depends not on me, on you. You can either be a spectator, and it'll be called a spectator's Fabrenga, or you can be a participant. And then it really will be a much better Fabrenga. So the three, the three different elements to a Fabrenga, Let's, let's review and, and get it down. One is to, to listen. The second thing is to sing together. And the third thing is to say l'chaim. If you're able to say on a little alcohol, great. If not, on anything else. But the point is to toast to life, to a Jewish life, to a spiritual life, to a meaningful life. And as the rabbi said, because we have this, this shell, this husk, this cover-up, this facade, where on a normal day, we don't like anyone coming inside us. It's very private. A Fabrengen is the time to let loose, to open yourself up. And it doesn't mean to allow someone, God forbid, to abuse you or hurt you or insult you. That's not the energy. But it's to come to a point where you're, you're, you're looking at honesty, you're looking at sincerity, you're, you're willing to share and at times, it might feel very vulnerable. But if you're coming from the perspective of being sincere and honest and open and, and really connected, it's not vulnerability. It's healthy self-assessment healthy, healthy self-esteem in the best way. So that's what a Fabrengen generally is, okay? So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say L'chaim. I'm going to mix it a little together. Make a blessing, everyone please answer. Amen. Baruch atah adinoy alheinu melech haolam. And we'll sing a song to begin, and then we'll go for there. Now, even if you don't know the words, come along, clap along, make believe, pretend. Okay? I'm going to sing the song that I taught you a month and a half ago, which I'm sure you all remember, those that were here. Hey, ye Johnny, 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 what are you doing in the market? You don't buy, you don't sell, all you do is yell again. Hey, ye 
Johnny, 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 what are you doing in the market? You don't buy, you don't sell, all you do is yell. That's the end of the first part. Now goes the second part. Da da la da la da 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 la 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 da 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 la da 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 la da la la da 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 la da again da da la da 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 la 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 da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la now we go back to the first part, but we're going to say it in Ukrainian. <laughs> hey, it's um uh, in Hebrew first. Sorry. Hey, it's um uh, 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 Come back, 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 Mark, back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come Again, Ukrainian. Echiti yedori Marko, shtoti yedish na yare Marko, neko plaish, ne prodaish, toka Marko. Ay la 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 so what's the, what does the song mean? Who is this Johnny? The Ukrainian words are the translation of the English. Johnny, Johnny, what are you doing in the market? You don't buy, you don't sell, all you do is yell. We all have impulses, cravings, right? Yes. And at times, they're very unhealthy. They're not great. They get us into trouble. We call this the Johnny within us, the troublemaker. Johnny, what do you what do you go to a market for? What do you do in a market? You're supposed to buy and sell, right? But when you don't buy, you don't sell. What are you going to the market for? You're making yourself and everyone else yell, meaning you're making everyone crazy for no reason at all. This is what we're saying. And especially now, the rabbi asked me to talk a little bit before the high holidays, which is next week, Rosh Hashanah and the Yom Kippur. This is the time of the year when we look into ourselves. And the looking into ourselves is about our relationship with God and our relationship with man, both. They go together. You know, some people say, well, I'm a good person at heart. That's great. Now, make yourself a good person, a better person with God. You can't separate the two. You know, cultures have tried. Cultures have tried separating the two. And what, is it, what has happened? It led to destruction. I don't want to go into that, but this is historically proven. So, we need to look at ourselves and say, we're a week before Rosh Hashanah. A week from tonight, my friends, is Rosh Hashanah. You know what Rosh Hashanah is about? It's not just eating apples and honey. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> and it's not just about going to a synagogue of this or that kind. No, no. It's about coronating God as the king. The one word that we use most on, in the service is 
המלך, אין המלך, אובינו מלכנו, the king. It's about making God king. Let us say לחיים and sing another song and then we'll talk a little more. לחיים, לחיים.